Welcome to 7.30. Police in Townsville are warning residents against lashing out at teenagers suspected of crime. The North Queensland city has been dubbed the crime capital of the Sunshine State after a major increase in stolen cars and burglaries. Today, police charged a 37-year-old man with beating up a 13-year-old boy at a skate park and threatening him and his friends with an axe. Locals have told 7.30 it's part of a disturbing trend where vigilantes are chasing teenagers and in some cases attacking them. Michael Atkin reports. In the city of Townsville, this stolen four-wheel drive is being taken for a joyride. You can see our car running a red light. You can see the car go round the corner at high speed and then it hit a fence down the middle of the road and then speed off into the distance. The thieves crashed Daniel Masterles's four-wheel drive into this fence, destroying both. Yeah, they come around the corner here too fast, um, lost control, hit the kerb, that's the skid marker across here, and then run into the fence in this area here and wrote the car off. In what has become common in Townsville, outraged locals gave chase. That's just stupid what you just did. That was just stupid. Why you do that? Someone had invaded our personal space. Um, yeah, very fearful and we've had the same feelings ever since. You see that there is no respect from any of these juveniles anymore. They just don't care. Property crime is increasing rapidly in the regional city and many repeat offenders are teenagers. We just drive around, pick up people. If it's a good enough car, we sell it. Is it for excitement? Is it because you're bored? Yeah, yeah, excitement and full of adrenaline. <laughs> and I'm live. Yeah, we're live. <laughs> Some of the crimes are being bragged about online. We are f Crime is considerably up compared to the year before. Uh, and at one stage, uh, for instance, uh, in early October, um, unlawful use of motor vehicle, which is stolen motor vehicles, were up 110%. That's galvanised a growing number of victims who are pursuing suspects on their own. When we follow them, they end up just speeding, just all through suburban streets, all you hear is tyres screeching and that kind of stuff. You just wait till a big bang. Got another camera around Across town, Melissa Lee has turned her home into a fortress. Mel, you've installed cameras all over your property. Yes, we have. We've got them covering everywhere. Um, this one up here follows movement as you go past it. Yeah, it's following us now. Yeah, it doesn't miss anything. She installed the cameras after being robbed last year by a group of local kids aged between 9 and 17. My kids would never be out at night doing things like that and the mother just thought it was all right because she'd got them to bring the stuff back. but. It's not all right. We were violated. We were broken into. The kids had nightmares. Where's another one? Back up, man. Back up. Dozens of extra police have been deployed to Townsville, targeting out of control teenagers. Look what you've done. She's crying, boy. I'm sorry, but I'm scared of you. No, I don't do that. Police claim the crackdown is making a difference. We have seen a considerable downturn in crime in the last month uh, and more importantly over the last couple of weeks and it's actually reduced uh, by 25 uh, per cent. So uh, whilst the crime is still up compared to the same uh, reporting period last year, it is uh, starting to uh, come back. Police say the streets are quieter since the start of Operation Oscar Merchant three months ago. They've arrested more than 900 people, including a 16-year-old from here in Kerwin. He's accused of more than 100 offences, including armed robbery, breaking and entering and stealing cars. More concerning, though, was uh, that offender's ability to bring others on board with him to commit similar offences. So when I spoke earlier about uh, you know, four, five, six vehicles stolen and driving around dangerously at a time, uh, they were all linked to this one offender. Each night, the Rapid Action and Patrol Squad is on the lookout for young offenders committing property crime. It might be a bit of a slow night, but you never know, being in this job. 
It's slower at the moment because um, a lot of the guys that were doing these jobs are uh, actually um, in Cleveland or in Stewart Prison for it at the moment. How many cars can get stolen on a busy night? Uh, on a busy night, we've had up into double figures, so it does get rather busy from time to time. A call comes in that teenagers on bikes could be looking for houses to rob. But when we arrive, they're nowhere to be found. What are some of the ages of the kids you see? Um, we had a stolen car one night where the eight-year-old who was driving uh, lost control of it, uh, hit a gutter. Uh, when we got him out of the car, he was in hysterics. But police are not the only ones on the prowl tonight. Us town's residents need to step up, you know. I sometimes barely sleep at night, so I go out uh, and just do it, just to make people feel safe. This teenager is a member of Townsville Against Crime, a group that conducts night patrols and follows stolen cars. He insists he is not a vigilante. We've never done anything that serious as, like, ramming cars or chasing cars. We're more of a person. Uh, people who stick in suburbs. If there's kids in the street um, that shouldn't, that don't belong in the street and they're just looking through people's cars, we have seen them, we have come across them, we have called the police. Yeah, whenever they see us, they just chase us. So try to bash most of us. They bash my cousins and stuff like that already. This former young offender tells a very different story about Townsville's vigilantes. Most of the times when people's cars get damaged, it's not from us doing it, it's from vigilantes driving up beside us and hitting us from the side. They're trying to run us off the road. How many times has that happened to you? About four or five times it happened to me. Could you identify these men? Not by names, but by faces. Jed Brown is still traumatised after being beaten up by a group of men at the local soccer club. Men, my friend Ian. We went over. No, I can't do this. Yes, you can. No. Sit down. No. Come on, you can. The men believed he had on, vandalised a building, something the 14 year old denies. And the biggest guy was over six foot. He kicked my son in the head. Um, I had to call an ambulance. They checked him out, um, but then he started vomiting, so he had a slight concussion, bad headache for the night, very shaken. Um, and he's a nervous wreck, he don't leave the house. His mother has reported the alleged assault to police and says the targeting of teenage boys has to stop. My son's been chased before by vehicles of, with young men screaming at the boys, telling them to go home and they're going to catch them and bash them. And... Police are warning residents not to take matters into their own hands. Those matters will be fully investigated and if there's sufficient evidence to uh, substantiate any offences, these people will be prosecuted. They have to act on them. They have to do something.